Hi, it's Christian. Uh, two nights ago, I posted a tutorial video showing how you could link Ableton Live and Onsong to turn your chord charts. Quite a simple process of just using MIDI notes that would turn to the next song. Uh, and I mentioned in the video that I was hoping that Onsong would add some depth to the way that it handles MIDI. And that night, they tweeted me, we got into a conversation, they knocked off a beta version, or added to the beta version really quickly, and the next day I was playing with that. And I just want to show you what it can do in the way it can handle MIDI. It's a huge step forward for those of us that like to run loops in our worship setup. Um, and just really give you a taste of what it can do, and when it comes out in a week or two's time, how to set it up so you can get flying. So let me drag my copy of my iPad onto screen. Uh, and I'm just going to show you how it works first, and then I'm going to go and show you how to set it up. So now I don't need to create any set. If you go, uh, you'll see that I'm just in my songs folder here. I haven't actually got any set set up. Um, I'm just in songs. I'm at the top of the songs uh, in 10,000 reasons. And now I can trigger off uh, any loop in my, in my Ableton set and it will automatically jump to the right page. Let me just show you that. So as I press play on Ready For You, it jumps to the PDF of Ready For You. I've not converted that one yet. The track's playing in the background. Uh, and Guitar, two, Ableton three. is playing the click track and the loop and there you have the chord chart in front of you I've turned the click track off so um, just so it's not too distracting uh, let's jump to another one the cross stands above it all in B flat there we go so jump to the cross stands above Intro, it all two, you can see that that's done straight away um, but let's go for let it be known and maybe oceans I'll come back to Oceans in just a moment. But these just happen to be in this order. I can go to any song. So let's go back up. I have 10,000 reasons. Intro, two, um, three, I could jump four. to... At your name. You go at your name. And the list goes on and on and on. Now where this is really clever um, is... First I don't need to create set lists. But also you'll notice if I pull up the song Oceans, Oceans a moment. You'll notice that Oceans is actually over three pages is the standard chord chart because of the various um, different versions of the bridge and the problem I had previously is I could set that automatically scrolling but if I wanted to jump back up to the chorus section here um, it would cause me some issue so what I've got now is I've got a, a note that's firing off for every single song but I've also, and I won't show you now because it'll take too long, but I've also set up a note that at the relevant pages of this chord chart it will turn down to the next page and then at the relevant time it will turn down to that page and in some songs it will go down to the bridge and then back up to the top page so this is how you do that the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you've created a link um, so you go to audio MIDI setup show the MIDI window Let's drag the iPad out of the way go into network and make sure that you've got a network established so Christian's iPad is comes up I click connect as long as they're both on the same Wi-Fi you should be able to create that network and it creates a MIDI network setup then in Ableton I've got a folder called MIDI Triggers, and when I expand that, I've now got two that say on song. The first one is the note which turns to the relevant page in on song. And then, really simply, if you go into on song, um, go into settings, go into editors, go into MIDI, and then click on the gear icon down here, you can tell it to display the note changes, the program changes, and the control events. And I'll demo what that does. Let me come out of that now, come back. Now, whenever a MIDI note is received by our song, it'll actually display the MIDI note on screen. So let me press ready for you. Ready for you. And you'll see a. that it flashed up ready very quickly and press it again. E2, note number 28. So all I had to do was go into the editor on this one and create a meta tag that said note hyphen index number 28. Now, whenever my Ableton session sends out that note 28 which is this note here so I've assigned a different note for every song and when I use up all 128 then I'll start putting them out on a different channel so whenever it sees that note on that channel it will jump to ready for you so that was the first thing to do I had to go down through every song and put a MIDI note against it and program the meta tag into on song uh, it did take a whole evening of doing but once it's done um, I never have to create a set again I can jump to any song the second thing that I did was to create um, a series of um, notes that are in timeline with the song that move up and down pages. So you'll see here in Let It Be Known, there is a note which is at bar 53 and another boat, uh, note just before bar 69. And I'll show you what they are in On Song. So if I go into Editors and MIDI, 
you'll see that I've got two notes assigned there. I've got C0, which is for scroll down, and C sharp 0, which is for scroll up. And what that means is if I go to a song like Let It Be Known, Let it be known. at exact and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Intro. bring the MIDI note forward before bar 53, so that'll jump forward. So as we reach bar 53 now, it'll scroll down to the bridge section of Let It Be Known, and then as I then put the MIDI forward again before bar 59, it'll jump back up a page as well. So I hope that makes sense, but it basically means that when I trigger Let It Be Known at exactly the right bar, the screen will move down to the second page, and then exactly the right bar will move back up so I can read the chorus. And then once you're done, go back into settings, back into editors, back into MIDI, back into the gearbox, and turn off the notes so you don't have to view them on the HD uh, on the screen. And now your on song is ready to go. You can still create set list, you can still use it by swiping forward and backwards, but for any time I trigger a track, it's automatically going to bring up the right the chords on flat. the screen straight away. Intro. So I hope that's helpful. If you need any more help around it, feel free to get in touch with myself or the team at OnSong. Watch out for this latest version of OnSong that's coming out. Um, jump on it straight away because just the added functionality for us Ableton users is going to be huge. I um, hope that helps. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.